we do have some news to get into, so let's get into it. It's pretty, it's pretty cool news. The Mount Run group is up. We'll see if people want to queue up for that. If not, maybe we'll just finish our, uh, finish our little Mount Runs, our, uh, our little run here in Sepulcher. But this is the big news, the big, big news of the day. That is right. Dragonflight Twitch drops earn rewards while watching and supporting your creators. Yes, yes. I happen to be one of those people. So welcome in, guys. It is going to be a nice little run of Twitch drops here. Blizzard has announced Twitch drops for Dragonflight, including watch four hours of Dragonflight to earn the Feldrake mount. Wow. Pretty sexy mount, not going to lie. This reward was previously only available through the now defunct trading card game, so it's fetched a hefty price tag. Well, I feel bad for anyone who was holding onto that card thinking they could resell it for a sexy amount of money. Yeah. <laughs> I made right uh, uh, Nice, nice, yeah. Um, I heard people are mad uh, about that. Yeah, oh yeah. I'm sure, imagine. Look at it. Look at Ash just talking about it. $4,700. Imagine you were hanging onto that card thinking, oh, I'm going to hold onto this card and it's just going to continue to gain value. And now you just got fucked because everyone who watches Twitch is about to have them out. So this is the way it's going to go. Uh, we'll look down here at all of them. As we uh, get even closer to the launch of Dragonflight, we want to keep the spirit and the epic adventure going on Twitch drops along with uh, a new way for you to support your favorite streamers. There are many opportunities to earn unique rewards, and all roads lead to the Dragon Isles. Here are uh, what you can expect. To participate, yes, link your Twitch account to Battle.net. I've already done that. Change da da da. You have to wait seven days for a cooldown if you're going to link another Twitch account. After you've claimed your rewards on Twitch, please make sure you log into Battle.net uh, Battle region you'd like to receive the drops on as the first region you log into will be the where the items are delivered. Oh, so be careful. If you play different regions, make sure you log into the region where you want those twist drops, twist drops to go. Because that'll be where they go. Um, it can take up to 24 hours to receive your rewards after the game, uh, after claiming them in-game. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so here are the drops. So, Twitch drop number one. November 15th to November 17th. Watch at least four hours of WoW Dragonflight content while Twitch Drop is active and earn the Dragon Kite Pet. Oh, it's right there. I thought you were going to earn a Valpira. I was like, that's kind of weird. The Dragon Kite Pet. Okay. That's pretty cool, actually. A little kite pet that follows you around, shaped like a dragon. Not bad. Twitch Drop number two. Starts uh, November 28th to November 30th. I want to see my calendar here. Yeah, November 28th to November 30th. Okay, that'll be Monday to Tuesday. So this first one is a is a Monday is a Tuesday to Thursday. This one's a Monday to Tuesday. This is the big one. This is the one everyone's probably gonna want. November 28th to 30th. Watch at least four hours of WoW Dragonflight content. <laughs> Mind you, this will be when Dragonflight is out. Uh, while Trish drops are active. To earn the fearsome Feldrake mount. Damn, that thing is sexy. I love the... I've, I've actually never seen this mount in game, so it must be ultra rare. This must be an ultra rare mount, because I've never seen it in game, and I was completely unaware that it was available through a card game. The, the WoW card game, which is now obsolete. That pet goes around for $50 right now. Are you serious? This pet goes for $50 right now? Holy shit, man. They're really fucking up the WoW economy with this stuff. I wonder if it flies now? Oh, I'm sure it flies. What? It didn't fly before? Yeah, so you get the Feldrake mount. Very cool. Um, that'll be during the launch of Dragonflight. So when we're all playing Dragonflight, I'm going to have an entire day stream. So you tune in for that one, you're getting the Feldrake mount. Uh, then we have December 13th to the 28th. Oh, that's quite a long time. That's like a week-long drop there. Uh... Watch at least two hours of WoW Dragonflight content. Select World of Warcraft channels. While this Twitch drop is active to receive the uh, Perpetual F Purple Firework toy. So there you go. You get the Purple Firework toy. This kind of looks phallic. I'm not going to lie. What's going on here? Nice one, Blizzard. Uh, you'll get that, per that Purple Firework toy. And then finally, from November 28th, 
at 10 a.m. until December 12th. Okay, so this one overlaps with some of the other ones. Uh, you can also show your support for your favorite WoW creators by gifting an eligible creator channel two Twitch subs. Doing so will award you the adorable Ichabod Harvest Golem. Oh, wow. I've never seen anything like that before. Has Twitch done stuff like this before? Gift two Twitch subs and you get a... Well, that's pretty cool. You never have to gift me anything, but that's a pretty cool pet. Maybe I'll gift myself two Twitch subs and get that. That's not bad. Uh, so these are just, you know, random questions about how to do it. They, they will automatically be given to you. Just log in after watching a stream for, you know, up to about four hours for this mount, two hours for this stuff. Very cool stuff. I have to say, this is going to be the one everyone's going to want to get. Uh, the Twitch drops being active is a very cool thing. Uh, I'm excited for it. I haven't I haven't been part of a Twitch drop. I think I did a New World one at one point, but uh, this is really cool. You know, obviously World of Warcraft's my favorite game, so I like to see the integration with Twitch. I think this is really cool stuff. And all of this will be available to you guys. I've had my uh, Twitch account linked to Battle.net for quite a long time, so this will be fun stuff to get in and, and, and award. What if you are the streamer? Does it still count, like, for yourself? I don't know. That's a good question. But, yeah, I mean, I'm not too worried about that because I will be watching other streams after I stream, so I'm sure I'll get these as well. I, it's prob probably, you probably do get them if you, stream for a certain, if you stream for four hours. You know, the four-hour limit here, probably streaming while the drops are enabled is probably the same thing. Have you already gotten the notification you will get the Twitch drops? Uh, you will have the Twitch drops? I have not, but I do. I did do the, uh, I did do the uh, linkage. So my account is linked. I know it is linked. So there's, I mean, that's the only requirement that they have here. Is that uh, you have to link your account, your Twitch account to Battle.net, and you should be able to get the Twitch drops. It kills me when they make mounts with wings, ground mounts, unless they are like a chicken or an ostrich or something. Well, this won't be a ground mount. I highly doubt it's a ground mount. Was it a ground mount before? There's no way this will be a ground mount. That'd be ridiculous. I mean, it's flying in the picture. Talk about debating people. Let's go to Kara while we wait. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we could. We could get these mount runs started. I mean, if people don't want to do mount runs, we could always go finish the sepulcher clear. I mean, it doesn't matter to me. The wording seems to say that only World of Warcraft labeled stream will gain this benefit. Where do you see that? Okay, to participate, uh, you must link your Twitch account. If you have changed, yeah, yeah, yeah. You will have to relink your accounts. When, when you relink, it takes seven days. After you have claimed your rewards on Twitch, please make sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't see anything about it being like that. Um, oh. Uh, do I need to watch the same channel the entire time? You can earn progress. Uh. With, on any eligible World of Warcraft category, category on Twitch, what devices can I use to claim the drops? How do I link my Battle.net account to Twitch? I've already done that. Do Twitch drops expire? As a streamer, how do I get them? All you need to do is make sure your Twitch and Battle.net accounts are linked and you're opted into drops. See the drops uh, home stream thing. Okay. I'll have to make sure that my drops are enabled. I'm pretty sure they are. Here's drops. Yeah, drops enabled. I have drops enabled. I've had drops for other games. I know that. I, like I said, I remember doing uh, some... <clears throat> what's it called? I remember doing some New World content. Yeah, so I, I do have drops enabled. Oh, my bad. Yeah. So yeah, here's my drops stuff. Drops are enabled... And I know I have World of Warcraft link. Like I said, I've done drops for New World before. Uh, so I know how the drop stuff works. So it should be all fine. Everything's set up pretty pretty good here. And I do have my account linked to Battle.net as well. So we should be good. We should be good. As a streamer, That's I, mean, I guess that's all you have to do. Make sure it's linked and uh, you're opted into drops. Uh, the wording seems to say that any, yeah, yeah, yeah. 